Hey y'all, welcome back to the Glory Lifestyle channel. My name is Gina. So today's topic is going to be praying for us as wives and reading over Proverbs 31, 10 through 31. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, y'all, let's get into prayer. So God has given me this prayer that I have here, and it's going to have I in there, but um, I'm going to try my best to say we, and if I slip up as I'm like reading and praying, please excuse me. This is for all of us. Um, I just hope and pray that you feel blessed by this prayer and the reading of Proverbs 31 as a wife um, and a future wife, if that's where God is leading you. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and um, Jesus, we want more of you and the less of this world, less of um, a chasing after the wind, like you have said in Ecclesiastes. Father God, I pray that you would help us to schedule our day the way that you want it to be in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to hear you and cling to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Be the king of all our days and our hours. Holy Spirit, walk in me and near me. Bless me to feel your glory in Jesus' name. Lord, our life is yours. Our body is yours. We give you complete control of our life, mind, body, and soul. May your Holy Spirit and our souls collide in Jesus' name. Be within us. Make our thoughts your thoughts. Destroy selfishness and bless us to pour our hands out to your people. Help us to get our eyes and mind off of ourselves to see you and feel you in Jesus' name. Lord, in our ministries as a wife, help us in general. <laughs> help us to put our husband where he should be in our lives in Jesus' name. Where you've called our husbands to be in our lives as wives, we pray that you would help us to put him there in Jesus' name. Keep our focus on you so that we can bless our household in Jesus' name. Help us to walk in the light that you have given us in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we need you as we are children of God, as we are um, just filled with righteousness and the things that you give us and the names that you call us, Lord, our identity is in you, Jesus. And we pray that you would help us to continue to unlock more of our identity in you and uh, throughout our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. May we seek you. May we hold fast to you. May we um, just reduce and just completely just get distractions out of our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. Or help us to prioritize where things should be within our schedule, within our days, Lord, in Jesus' name. Destroy the feeling of being overwhelmed. But God, may we rest and we lean upon you in Jesus' name. God, strengthen us to be your people. Strengthen us to walk in you. Strengthen us to obey you. Father God, any way we have sinned against you, God, we pray and we ask for you to forgive us. Lord, your word says that you forgive us. And so, God, here we are asking for forgiveness in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, open up our eyes and our minds to see the ways in which we fall and help us to recover, to come back and to just kneel before you and say, Lord God, this is where I lack. Holy Spirit, fill this place in Jesus' name. Lord, we're praying and we're asking for you to fill the environments that we are in. Whether we are listening to this at work, in the car, um, in our homes, God, fill those places in Jesus' name. Be present with us, Lord. We need you so desperately. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and read Proverbs 31. Um, it's starting with verse 10. I think I said 100 earlier. I'm sorry. A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. 
Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family and portions for her servant girls. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. Ooh, that is a good one. Because I've been talking about task and y'all. <laughs> That is so comforting. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. Praise God. In her hand, she holds the, the staff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. Praise God. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. Mm. She's clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward her give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. I think it's important for us to also reflect on the things that we do do as a wife. Um, and a future wife, things that we may carry right now, um, even if we're not married or if we are married, things that we're carrying out of these uh, words and out of these verses, what are we carrying right now? What are we doing that we can say, oh, you go, Gina, or oh, you go, whoever you are that's listening. You know what I mean? Like, it's so important to be able to say, praise God for you making me to be a wife of noble character and you continuing to work on me to fill these verses out, to fill me, to be a woman of God that you called me to be and being a wife. Like, that's just so cool. And um, we are all in this pursuit of growth. And so it's just so important to acknowledge that and to ask the Lord to help you to get there. And again, like, I just really, really love uh, verse 17, Proverbs 31, 17, she sits about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. God has allowed her arms to be strong for her task because God has called her to those tasks. Yeah, that is a whole word right there. God has called her to those tasks. God has called me to the task that he has for me. And so it's also important um, to just continue to like pray and ask the Lord, what do you want me to do within these hours? Yes, I have a nine to five, but Holy Spirit, lead those hours between the nine to five and help me to still glorify you and help me to still bring acknowledgement to your name. If it's talking to a coworker about God and it just happens, God did that, you know, like God has specific reasons as to why he has you where he has you in this season. And we cannot lose ourselves in trying to get to the next place. We have to be present because God has presently called us to that place. It's not wrong to desire to reach those goals, but it is so important to be present to where we are and to be able to accomplish the task that God has given us at hand. So um, yeah, that is what I have for us today. Again, um, I just believe that God really wanted me to come and talk about this 
at this time within our Praying for Our Husband series. We have a few more weeks um, of praying for our husband, and then we'll probably dig into praying for us as our wives, or um, us as <laughs> wives, and um, and praying for ourselves, and like getting more filled with our own identities. I think that that's going to be so important for the next praying season that we have. Um, I'm just grateful and thankful that God is leading this channel into just praying for specific things. It's just so good. And we're using, we're trying our best to use scripture to um, just pray through and to ask God, like, help, you know, to help us. You called me to this. You desire for us to do this. So we're asking God for help and to not be alone in the things that we are doing and pursuing and working on. So I pray that this video blesses y'all. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you for watching.